Kwame, so the oath premieres tomorrow. How excited are you? I'm excited, man. I mean, this is a, this is an amazing show, so I'm just blessed to be here. Like, yeah. I mean, there's so many talented people, man. The cast is so talented. So just to be able to work with all these guys, it's just been a blessing and to learn from them, you know. I mean, Sean Bean, Ryan. Uh, you guys have like a full list of people. You have a great cast. Man, this cast is serious. Look, when I, when I got on the show, I got casted kind of early. So when the name started dropping, I was like, oh. I was like, oh. This oh, gonna, this, oh, yeah, this sounds this, good. This is going to be nice. <laughs> I was going to ask, what made you want to join like this show? What made you want to be a part of it? Was it the cast? I mean, you did join early, right. but was it the script? What was it? Yeah, it was the writing, man. Like, the writing was really good. And, and then the thing for me is, like, it was, even though I play a lot of drug dealers on TV, I play street drug dealers. So, in, and so to play a character like Neckbone, to be in suits and stuff like this, and just be clean, like, I mean, the writing was amazing. So, I mean, shout out to Joe Haplin, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just, you know, had to, you know. From the wire to the suits, come on now. <laughs> you already know. So, you guys filmed this in Puerto Rico, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So, were you guys there during um, the hurricane, Hurricane Maria, or was it after? And how was it being there filming such a great show like this? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, everybody was so hospitable. I mean, the island itself was beautiful. It was my first time ever going to Puerto Rico. Okay. So that was a, a great experience. I mean, that was amazing. And we were there during the storms. We had to get evacuated a couple times. Um, so we weren't like there when the storms actually happened. We would always leave a few days beforehand once they got the alerts. But then we had we come back and finish shooting. And then it was just like to see like the torment and what the island had went through. You know what I'm saying? It was sad. And, you know, we tried to do our best to help out when we could, you know, um, as far as, like, giving back and helping out and donating and those kind of things. You know, but I will say, even through with the storm and everything that was going on, the island, the people of the island always had high spirits. Like, it was always just beautiful around there. Like, it was, no one was sad. No one was, like, down. Everybody was just, like, still partying and having fun. So it was good, man. I, I love it. it. Yeah, I seen on the Instagram that you guys were doing some foundations and you guys were giving back, and that's what I really loved about it. Question for you. So since this is about, like, gangs and family, and corrupt cops and just crews if you can pick any family or group of friends to be a part of it could be fiction TV movies or for real what crew or group would you pick a group I mean I'm like a crew a family I mean, I'm, I, 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 I gotta go back to my roots Marlo's crew you know okay I mean, that's where it all started. I mean, our, our crew was thorough. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we ain't take, we, 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 you know, what I'm saying they ain't want no problems. They, they don't want no problems. But now you have hey. this amazing suit on, so well, yeah. Oh yeah. Well now, you now. <laughs> I don't know. Brother you know looking kind of sharp now. Right now, I might have to go with the Greenleaf family. You oh, know what I'm saying? Listen. You know, now we're in a different. Uh, now we're in a different whole exactly. other atmosphere. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Oh,